Um, you know, knowledge is a good thing. Educating yourself, obviously, a good thing. It's a thing we encourage here. In fact, sometimes you'll say something like, knowledge is power. And yet, um, you'll also hear the expression, nobody likes a know-it-all. And, and so what's that about? A lot of times we, we're polishing up what we know so it'll shine, or we uh, cling to our own frozen opinions, or we insist how certain and right we are. And it doesn't leave us very much time, actually, to learn something new or to even unlearn something old. It's far more valuable and important for the world to know you than it is to know what you know. But that's a human thing. We kind of want to, it's a way of uh, distancing ourselves, I think, from each other, where we insist on what we know, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, know-it-alls. You know how that is. I remember I have homie examples. You know, I was in a car with a bunch of homies. And uh, the topic, for some reason, turned to what is the strangest, oddest thing you ever ate? And I said, I ate an iguana once. And uh, uh, some homie in the back seat said, oh, I ate a rattlesnake. And the know-it-all homie in the front seat said, well, everybody knows rattlesnake is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> I said, really, it's an aphrodisiac. I turned to him, everybody knows that. I said, well, tell me, what's an aphrodisiac? <laughs> well, an aphrodisiac <clears throat> is a desiac <laughs> with a mean-ass fro. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, no shot. <laughs> Thank you. And another time we were going driving, a carload of homies, we were driving into Walt Disney Studios in, uh, to see a kind of a free movie that we would gotten tickets for a screening. And it's Walt Disney already, Walt Disney statues, Walt Disney Street. And, and a homie in the back said, hey, whatever happened to Walt Disney anyway? And uh, the know-it-all in the front seat, uh, they always seem to get shotgun apparently, the know-it-all. So he said, um, he died, fool. But I heard that they froze his ass, you know, until they find a cure for dead people, he says. Another time we were at dinner with a bunch of homies, and uh, uh, there was a homie among us who, who seemed to be of uncertain nationality. And we say, hey, what, what nationality, what race are you anyway? And the homie says, fool, I'm Catholic, he says. <laughs> Well, thank you for clarifying. A lot of times we kind of cling to the stuff we know, and it really keeps us from learning something new every day. I had a homie come to me at the end of the day, a homie who works here, who uh, said, uh, I learned something today I never learned, I never knew before. I said, what was that? You can do a lot with your brain, he said. I said, well, say more. And he said, well, this morning I told my brain, I'm going to have a good day. Let's have a good day. And my brain obeyed me. And we had a good day. I didn't know you could do that. And I said, well, no, I didn't know that either. I learned something new. Sometimes you have to unlearn something old. I visited a homie not long ago who was in his fifth rehab. The first four didn't go so well. I went to see him. I said, how do you like it here? He goes, I hate it. This place is so raw. Everybody that society thinks is low and doesn't matter. They're all here, poor, homeless, drug addicts, gang members. I am learning something new every single day. I used to think I was a know-it-all, but I didn't know shit. And now I've gotten humility in a hurry. I learn something new every single day. I hate it here. Thanks for sending me. We can spend a lot of time polishing up what we know or clinging to our frozen opinions and insisting that we're right or we know more than somebody else. It just wastes a lot of time because we're being offered today and always an opportunity to learn something brand new or to unlearn something old. And that's what we're going to be about today. Amen. <laughs>